Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since we filmed in here, uh, the enclosure, as I call it, my workspace. It's been full up of stuff that's needed to go to the dump for a while, and uh, finally got it pretty much cleared out. I know it kind of still looks like a mess behind me, but it's the best it's looked in months, and uh, I, I guess I'll go ahead and give you a look around real quick. So we got my workbench behind me, which is somewhat cleared off. Still a lot of tools and stuff hanging out up there. Um, sort of got my fishing corner set up over here. I got my rods and, uh, sorry, I'm trying to make sure I show you guys stuff. Some uh, shooting stuff there, that's a little better. Targets, silhouettes, net. Like I said, smattering of stuff on here. It's getting better, I'm slowly going through it, but um, all this under here is essentially tackle. Um, that's all reloading supplies. That's my reloading press, my Dillon reloading press. It's a progressive press. Uh, it's really cool. You can pump out a lot of ammo um, in not a lot of time with that thing. Um, super cool. Uh, the old air compressor Mike gave me. Um, don't pay attention to any of that. Recently got the old mountain bike out and it's in pretty rough shape. It looks good. It looks okay at, at first glance. Um, but then you get down here, and that's pretty, that's pretty pitted. Um, I rode it around yesterday, and it's, it's, it's an abuelo. It's going to be a, a new fork situation. So, I don't know if that's worth it. This one's fine, but yeah, this one. It's been in here, and uh, just, I guess, the ambient moisture got to it, so... That's a bummer because this is this is a nice bike. Uh, you know, I put some good parts on it, and uh, I got some miles out of it, but not not nearly as many as I wanted to. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that yet. It's not exactly high on my list of things to do right now. So haven't been doing too much fishing. Uh, I actually got out and I fished. Uh, I guess I can't say the name of it, but um, I like to keep this spot pretty secret. But I went out and fished a little uh, a little stream that's only open for a few months each year out in the uh, Tuhui area. I guess that's as, as much as I'll say. But yeah, it opened yesterday. Uh, yesterday was the first day it was open for uh, coastal cutthroat trout and native rainbows. I don't think I ran into any rainbows. They were all cuts. Um, but it was super fun. I brought my GoPro and everything, but I had it on the chesty, and that's just not the best point of view when you're fighting fish. Anyways, that'll never make it into a full video, but I'll put a picture of the best fish I caught right here. Yeah, it was a nice cutthroat uh, for that stream. And when I say stream, it really is. It's a stream. They call it a river, but it's, it's, it's a stream. Uh, it really doesn't get too much bigger than, um, than what it was yesterday. So anyways, uh, I, I saw a monster I don't know whether it was a cutthroat or what, um, but it was a very large fish, and it came out and looked at my bait, and, and um, that spiders everywhere in here. Anyways, caught a decent one. You know, that was probably a 12-inch cutthroat, which is really good, like I said, for that size of, of stream. Um, they, don't, they don't grow them too much bigger in there, and it fought, it fought so good. Uh, but anyways, that being said, it was, it was good getting out, and... and uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do some camping lately, but the stars haven't lined up. Haven't been able to get out and do any camping, um, but I, I really want to um, here in the near future. Or so, so I kind of wanted to come on here and do a little pocket dump uh, today, this afternoon. It is it's a Sunday afternoon. As I'm filming this Sunday before Memorial Day. Um, yeah, show you what I've been carrying for the past uh, week or so. Actually, it's kind of what I've been carrying for the almost the past three weeks. So, let's dive into it. Um, we're not going to start in any particular order. I'll just go through things and we'll go from there. So the first thing I see is my keys. I've been driving the Mustang a lot lately because the weather's been so nice. Um, so yeah, Mustang keys. Got a little uh, pendant on here from Hawk Hobbies, which is, which is rad. He knows uh, I'm into the photography. So yeah, I've been driving the Mustang a lot lately. That's what I took out to this particular stream I went and fished yesterday. And uh, it's such a fun driving road. Like, it's so, so fun. Uh, 
all the right curves in all the right places, and it was a blast. I, that's that's the whole kind of the whole reason I took the Mustang out there is because I wanted to air it out a little bit and take some corners and and drive it. Um, there's nobody out there, so you can really um, you can really have fun. It's it's cool. It's a cool part of of it's a cool area. So yeah, Mustang keys. Uh, next thing I see is my watch. This thing has been a champion. Um, it's a Casio, a pretty cheap Casio, I think. Um, it's got a couple fishing features. It's got like a moon phase deal. And uh, it's got like a thermosense, they call it a thermosensor, thermometer, built into the casing. And so it reads kind of the ambient skin temperature. I don't know why that's useful, but whatever. Been a solid watch, tells the time. Yeah. Uh, the knife. Uh, this is not what I've been carrying lately. Yeah, I've been carrying the Kaiser Comet most. Um, a recent addition of the collection. Thank you to, uh, to Hawk Hobbies. Uh, really, really cool knife. Rad knife. Super impressive at the price point. It's under $100. And, um, we'll, we'll get into that knife on a future episode. Um, definitely. But that's kind of what has been my regular carry. But for the past two days, I've been carrying uh, this guy does not get nearly enough carry these days, um, but it's my, my Griptilian, it's been kind of beat to shit, but, uh, yeah, recently put a good edge on it, uh, the serrations are, serrations, let's put it that way, I wish it was a plain edge, but it is what it is, this thing makes such a good noise, yeah, solid knife, this is the knife I put in my pocket when I know I'm going to be beating on stuff and cutting through bags of uh, quickcrete and, you know, doing stuff around the, the property. So, uh, yeah, can't go wrong with a Benjamin Griptilian. Haven't done a damn thing to this thing, and I don't think I will. I like I like the, the factory setup. It's just, it's, it's a beater. So, yeah, definitely love this. Don't carry it enough, but I, it, it gets its use, so... Uh, I guess next thing is, uh, what else is in my right pocket here? Some stuff that's familiar. A little Keybar Jr. from Hawk Hobbies. Had this for a while now. A couple coins that I like to carry with me. I think you guys have seen these. And a recent addition to the EDC. Um, this little, I think they call it like a haptic fidget type deal, but it makes a noise, and you can rotate it, and, and it's magnetic, and you can you can do all kinds of stuff with it, and it's just very satisfying. Never thought I'd be into something like this, but it definitely helps. I don't, I don't know why, but it does. Helps with the anxiety. Um, anyways, yeah, thanks, Mike. Appreciate this. Something I didn't know I needed. All right, uh, let's move on to this. This is again another recent, some recent additions to the EDC. Uh, this little pocket organizer. I cannot remember the name of the company. Texas something leather, but it's just a simple pocket organizer with some um, good leather. I put a lanyard on here with a, a little bead, an awesome little bead that Mike gave me, uh, just so it's easier to pull out of my pocket. Uh, but this houses my free T4 which is going on like two and a half years of use. Uh, it's got my Streamlight MicroStream USB, which is my favorite light. I love that thing. And then it's got the Olight Mini Pen, which is another recent addition to my EDC. It's a little bolt action pen there. So, very cool. Thanks, Mike. And this, uh, yeah, this just worked out really well. This holds the, the free T4 perfectly in here, so. Um, yeah, that, that definitely worked out. Alright, uh, just working my way along, we've got my new wallet again. Thank you, Mike, Hawk Hobbies. Uh, this thing is wearing in beautifully, uh, to say the least. Uh, I think this is by a company called Konos Leather. I think they're out of Ukraine. Um, and they seem to make really good stuff. Mike purchased this for me. And it's just getting some, some really nice wear marks on it already. Um, Simple bifold, everything I everything I wanted in a in a wallet, and uh, I'm really stoked on this one. All right, uh, recent edition of the EDC uh, that wasn't from Mike. 
is uh, Leatherman Signal. I picked this up while Mike was out here. Um, recently he was out here for a visit. But uh, yeah, Leatherman Signal in the forest green with the, the Topo blade, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I really like this tool, guys. It's been in my pocket every single day since I got it, and uh, I've been carrying it, utilizing the pocket clip, which is a subpar po pocket, a subpar pocket clip. Uh, but it's doing the job so far. Uh, you've got the option to use the carabiner to hang it off your belt loop, or it comes with a nylon sheath. So, um, still working on a um, a more detailed, in-depth video on this, going over the, the particular tools and their uses for me so yeah I am stoked on this thing I, I had been thinking about purchasing one for almost a year leading up to me actually getting it um, but yeah it's just, it's just it's got a lot of awesome features and it's it's a good tool for an outdoorsman I guess you could say uh, camping fishing hunting stuff like that all right moving on uh, probably the last interesting new fresh thing I don't know if I could call it to my EDC, but to my collection, and that's the SEPR4, which I got a couple, maybe three weeks ago. And, uh, man, I'm just going to have to remember to keep this thing oiled at all times, especially with the, the humidity levels we have up here. Next time I go out camping, I'm going to start a fire the hard way, um, the proper way, I guess you could say. But yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's been getting a decent amount of carry, just uh, going out and hiking and uh, fishing and stuff like that. It's on my hip, so uh, I'm enjoying the knife so far. I really am. I guess the last thing that I see um, to round out this pocket dump is my phone. I've, I've had this thing for probably a few years now, which is impressive for a phone nowadays. Um, they just upgrade so fast. But this thing still gets the job done. It's, it's a Galaxy. Galaxy A51, yes, Galaxy A51, um, so definitely not a new phone by any stretch of the imagination, doesn't have the best camera, um, but I don't really use that camera too often, I find myself using my Nikon if I'm really trying to take some good pictures, but uh, other than that, you know, it, it does everything I need it to, um, Instagram and, and YouTube and whatnot, so uh, yeah, alright, hopefully that wasn't too long, thanks for watching, thanks for the continued support of the channel. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little upload. Um, I'm, I'm working on getting more content out more regularly. Um, life's just been life. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.